Kuna video fulani ambayo imekuwa ikienea sana kwenye mitandao ya kijamii hapa Kenya. Hii ni video ya mwanamuziki uh, Bahati akiwa jukwani na Raila Amolo Odinga. Video hii ilichukuliwa siku ya jana wakati ambapo Raila Amolo Odinga alikuwa anafanya campaign zake eneo la Kamukunji Grounds. Na kwa ile afla kulikuwa na viongozi tofauti ambao wanaoania viti tofauti chini ya azimio. Na Bahati was part of the leaders who went to attend this political rally. Na pale jukwani ni tukamuona bahati akiwa na Raila Amolo Odinga akiweza kujiintroduce kwa Raila but it seems like Raila did not understand who bahati is unamsikia kwa umakini bahati akisema my name is bahati but eventually Raila ends up calling bahati mati hebu tazama video hii kwa umakini Matthew kama jina yako imetajwa ukae ukae chini ukae chini Jalango. My friend mnaona vile bahati paka pale amebaki stranded wondering what's happening kwa sababu ameji introduce kama bahati but Raila doesn't even recognize who bahati is to an extent that bahati is left there wondering huh? ikabidi tu ajiwe via tu watu pole pole and the next after bahati was jalango without jalango introducing himself to Raila tayari Raila alikuwa shamtaja kitambo akisema jalango So it seems like Raila and Jalango are very close. Now on this side ni kama Bahati ashikanishwi na Raila who Bahati is to Raila. Kumbuka kwamba Raila and Bahati released a song few weeks ago. Actually in a few months ago. Huu ni wimbo ambao Bahati amemsifia Raila akidai kwamba Raila is the current uh, fit presidential uh, aspirant mwenye anafaa kuongoza uh, Kenya. Ukisikia wimbo huu unaoitwa no, Fire, Raila amesifiwa na Bahati sana. Now come on stage unapata kwamba Raila ni kama shikanishi bahati ni nani. Na ukiangalia hata wimbo ambao bahati alifanya na Raila, unamuona alikuwa na Raila kwenye ile video. I think walikuwa hapo walikuwa wameshajuana zaidi. But the question is how come Raila doesn't recognize bahati on stage to an extent that anamuita Matthew instead of his name uh, bahati. Kumbuka pia bahati amekuwa akifuatwa na mazinga umbwe tangu atangaze kuania kiti uh, cha ubunge eneo bunge la Madare. A bahati tangu atangazo kuania kiti hichi baada ya kupewa nomination certificate na Jubilee Party which happens to be under Azimio that is headed by Raila Amolo Odinga bahati amekuwa akidai kwamba the current Madare leader feels threatened and uh, that's why he has been told to return the nomination certificate ilifika mahali hadi bahati akilia akiomba rais na Raila Amolo Odinga waweze kuingilia swala hili katikati and eventually we saw bahati receiving back his nomination certificate and he will be vying for the Madare uh, parliamentary seat under Jubilee party which happens to be under Azimio on the other side the current Madare leader or rather the current Madare MP will also be defending the seat under ODM which happens to be under Azimio hasa hapo unaona ni kama a house divided uh, um, within itself unapata bahati pale anataka kukuwa uh, the, uh, the MP na pia the current MP pia anataka kuwa MP bado uh, chini ya azimio hasa inakani kama mazingo umbo ya ambayo amekuwa akimfuata bahati tangu atangaze kuania kiti hichi uh, mazingo umbo haya yameanza kumfuata hadi kwenye stage inafika mahali ODM leader doesn't recognize who bahati is yani paka your your presidential um, aspirant yule mwenye unasema utampigia kura kama rais wako hakujue ni nani haya mazingo umbo yanafanya kazi we. kama wewe ni bahati ungefanya nini by the way eh ungefanya nini You can leave your thoughts in the comment section. And talking about po- Bahati's political career. Do you think he's gonna succeed politically or he rather stay back in music and ile kuachilia tu ngoma na achana mambo ya siasa? Unaweza tuachia maoni yako kwenye comment section na kutuambie. Thank you for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye bye.